Hello, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome to Newswatch and Newswatch Nightly. As you can hear the piano keys being tinkled in the background, and um, interesting uh, updates from Harrisburg today. Uh, a lot of local stuff going on, so we're going to get that all out to you. Uh, stuff going on in Elwood City. They have a, a great uh, weekend planned with Oktoberfest. And, um, you know, a lot of the Oktoberfest <laughs> taking place, and why the heck not? Let's celebrate all that authenticity and uh, have a great time. You know, um, the zoo in Newcastle, yeah, I said the zoo, it has uh, some interesting things going on out there as a, not really a fright night, but a tour of the night, see what the animals are like at night. And I didn't realize that they have alligators out there at Living Treasures. So uh, that's going to be uh, something that we take a look at. And um, also a little weather and uh, lots of sports. As uh, you know, this is the time of year when you've got everything going on. You've got hockey, basketball, and football and baseball just a little bit of everything and uh, why the heck not so um, buckle up and um, get ready because Newswatch Nightly is going to be straight ahead for you and uh, we're just taking care of a couple more things. I do want to apologize for a few of the audio difficulties that we've had in the past. We are taking care of those and we're streamlining our process. Um, I worked on it today with uh, a guy out there I have as a good apprentice. His name is Tim. And um, we're going to get it totally taken care of. Now, uh, as I say each and every time, the train is on the tracks and Newswatch Nightly is straight ahead for you. If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Pegley's, Hust them more. When you're hungry for that great Italian taste, bellissimo, it is tremendous. You have to stop by Pegley's for pasta, sandwiches, pizza. Yes, it's Pegley's Pasta and More for that great Italian taste. It's not just for Sunday anymore. Head over to Pegley's. Simple elegance in a majestic setting. Yes, right here in downtown Newcastle minutes away from shopping seconds from a gas station and let's not forget pastries a restaurant and oh yes the schools the majestic for that majestic lifestyle right in the greatest castle Newcastle Come by and take a look. 
Skip the Dad's Bar before the rooster crows. Yes, it's Tony's Lounge. Complete with a great bar, pool, yes, jukebox, and a great seating area that is unbelievable. It'll make you hungry and a wide selection to choose from, including wings. Yes, specials too. Don't monkey around, get to Tony's Lounge. And we're back. A special shout out going to Lawrence Williams. Lawrence, candidate for city council. And uh, Lawrence was in Meet the Candidate. And um, I mentioned that. Sue Linville, we're going to uh, do a phone interview tomorrow. As I said before, some of our audio got messed up. We're going to take care of that right away. Now, days till the election. Well, today is the second. And uh, for all intents and purposes, kind of over. So, um, well, 29 days. The election is the fifth. That's 33 days. And uh, once again, I will remind you that Chris Fry who believes in small business, not just, just doesn't believe in this small business, has not walked through the door yet. And we've had an open invitation to every candidate on Meet the Candidate. It's a very, explain your points of view. Don't do the grandstanding. Don't do any of the stuff to try and get, oh geez, you know, we're not about that. We're straightforward and letting you know what's going on so um, keep that in mind and in the last two news watches I told you about all the deadlines the deadline to register to vote is the 7th of October so you got to be registered by the 7th and absentee ballots the 29th you can go back and watch this. And they must be in. There's a three-day window. They must be in by the... And I'm looking at the calendar up on my the side here. And, and received. After that three-day window, you, you won't count. So um, I'm putting it out there to you straight. Okay. You know, the other night I showed you how... We're there, we're NCTV 45, telling you what's going on, and we don't dramatize or do any of that other stuff. So, let's get to what's happening today in Newcastle, PA, and, and you know, a lot of times stuff comes through from the state, and um, I want to talk about this. Because today I had a great opportunity to talk to somebody from Dawn Services. Now they're having a hemp. And hemp isn't marijuana seminar. Because it can have up to an R20. That's an insulation type thing. And that's November 7th. The other day, I and that and that's important. Hats off to Dawn Services. This comes in, and there were a lot of things explained. So I really, really appreciated that conversation I had today, and I'm going to get to it. Um, this comes in, Governor Wolf and Lieutenant Governor. Pardons Board provide updated pardons process to benefit those with marijuana convictions. Folks, if it was against the law, it's against the law. I really caution you on, we don't know 
it's an entry level drug. That's what we were told. I caution you on thinking that it's okay. And uh, looks like the lieutenant governor and governor want to make sure you think it's okay. Now the PA Department of Agriculture Communications Office launched restaurant inspections Mo report mobile app. Today, the Department of Agriculture, Russell Redding, joined by Pennsylvania Food Merchants Association, announced the launch of Eat Safe PA, a free mobile app that allows Pennsylvanians to have restaurant inspection reports at their fingertips to help them choose dining establishments without fear of foodborne illnesses. It, yes, Eats APA is available in the Apple App Store for iPhone and Google Play for Android. Once downloaded, users can either enable their location services or manually search by restaurant name, business, city, and zip code. As a service industry professional, we provide ourselves with the relationships we build with our guests in the community, and the most fundamental element of uh, the process is serving safe food. Now, this was manager Graydon Gray as he was talking about this app. So, um, there's a neat little thing for you. Now, this came in the other day, and there hasn't been an outbreak in Lawrence County. However, the Department of Health, they've uh, issued this press release, while outdoors during the fall months, protect yourself from ticks and mosquitoes. Now, I'm going to kind of get down to Pennsylvania recently seen the first human West Nile virus case of 2019 and has also seen Eastern Anaquine uh, euphus in birds and animals. These diseases are carried by mosquitoes. Okay, before uh, heading outdoors, it's important to cover skin. Wear lightweight and light colored clothing to aid in the detection, insect detection, and use insect repellent containing 20% or more DEET. These steps will help you protect yourself from ticks and mosquitoes. If you believe you were bitten by a tick, it is important to speak to a doctor immediately. Antibiotic treatment during the early stages of Lyme disease can help prevent the onset of more severe symptoms. West Nile virus is also spread by mosquitoes that breed in areas with standing stagnant water. These areas include urban catch basins, clogged gutters, um, decrepit old tires, poor poorly uh, maintained areas where there's a pond, flower pots. Okay, the symptoms are these. High fever, 103 to 106, stiff neck, headache, and low energy. Make sure that if you have those symptoms, they usually show up three to 10 days after bitten make sure that you get to a doctor. It's um, very, very important. Now, um, with all that being said, let's take a quick look at weather. And uh, here's what you're looking at. Currently in Newcastle, we, oh, we got no weather observations and that's kind of funny. 83 degrees, okay, uh, and this was taken at 2 o'clock, 
83 degrees, 59 percent humidity, winds from the southwest at 7, 67 degrees is the dew point, visibility 10 miles, heat index, yes, it feels like it's 86. So, uh, a little warm out there. We'll check the radars a little bit later. Let's take a look at sports. And, uh, you know, I, you know, I don't know. The, the, the Pirates uh, firing Clint Hurdle. But I just don't really think they've looked long and hard enough at the whole situation because I don't think their general manager really knows what the heck he's doing either. So uh, let's go to sports and we'll be right back after this. The, the Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724. Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania features many amenities, lush fairways, and great greens, and many challenging shots. Your crowd will applaud. A short drive from Butler, Sharon, Pittsburgh, Elwood, and Youngstown. It's Sylvan Heights Golf Course in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Hello and welcome to the Cedar Sports Corner Report. Well, tonight in Major League Baseball, American League Wild Card Game, Tampa Bay takes on Oakland. I don't know, there's some about the A's I kind of like. Uh, that'll be out in Oakland, 8 o'clock start. Let's go A's. Now, over in <coughs> choked up NBA basketball as uh, we cruise through. They're not ready to start till Indiana takes on Sacramento on Friday. They just can't seem to get out of the box. And the NHL, well, They've started, and we're going to be starting hockey. <coughs> Ottawa's at Toronto. Washington's at St. Louis. Vancouver is at Edmonton. And San Jose, they're at the Vegas Knights. You can catch hockey, men's hockey league, Wilmington hockey, the Shannon hockey, right here on NCTV 45. Also, you can catch high school football every Friday as the Canes, they go uh, up against Blackhawk, who um, lately has become a nemesis. Uh, it's homecoming. Let's go Canes. Now, uh, that was the Cedars Sports Corner Report. Go to Cedars, get some great food, cold beverage, and enjoy the games. Hope to see you there. We're going to take this time out. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge we in the a full restaurant. I mean, it's a full menu. We're doing a, like a signature steak in, with lamb. It's blackened and it's absolutely delicious. We're doing a pasta. We're trying to do the vegetarian. So we got an own menu for just vegetarian. We have three bars. There is uh, one bar here. And there is another bar in the back next to the banquet. And that's kind of nice because you, you have your own bar when you do the weddings and stuff. The bar opens at 5 usually. Okay. And I will, I mean, if you come in and you want a beer at 3 o'clock, I will open up for you. You know, that's no problem. This is the only place in this whole area that really has a hotel next to a restaurant and a bar. We have a, a huge banquet room. We can sit up to at least uh, 750 people. And you know we we have we have it all here. We have music. We got DJs. We got a grand baby piano. We have the piano bar. We got intimates 
little bar or we got for bigger bigger parties or we got for huge parties we will do whatever we can do to make you happy Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store or at their restaurant in Newcastle, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions. Yes, and I'd like to thank all our sponsors, including our newest, Tony's Lounge, caught them in the first segment and the caravan Al Arbagio, and I want to make sure I say that right, where you can get a great dinner tonight, 4 to 8, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and a brunch from 11 to 2 on Sunday. Just uh, a great time. Make sure that you check it out. Now, um, continuing on, and... This state bill, uh, this state news deals specifically with Lawrence County. Governor Wolf announces the first round of a PA Farm Bill grant, 500000 to build urban agriculture. Now, um, in Lawrence County, social services received 38300 for a hydroponic system, building, materials, and educational supplies to create a healthy start facility with agriculture as the cornerstone. Here's what they plan to do. Governor Wolf announced that he had that agricultural grant to fund 28 projects that will help build urban agriculture infrastructure. That means right here in the city. Okay, while providing opportunities for entrepreneurial ships and community building throughout the state. The urban agriculture is about more than just growing food. It's about our communities and our economy. It's about increasing the quality of life, said Governor Tom Wolf. In addition to urban agriculture gardens providing places to work and learn, they have aggregate fresh local products to combat food insecurity and improve access to healthy food okay so um lawrence county stepping up and getting uh, a great benefit with that um by the end of the program i am going to talk to you about the scam that came out from the state and uh, caution you on that. A lot of people are into this DNA testing. Well, you know, somebody figures out how to create a scam and boom, it's, it's out there. Fun for all at Iron Mill Farmstead, Wednesday, October 2nd through Friday the 4th. Yes, uh, visit their website, but enjoy all the fun field whole Family will love these 35 attractions, 10 acre corn maze, farm stead, express, jumping pillows, corn cob beach. Wednesday through Thursday, 1 to 7, Fridays, 1 to 10. And don't forget to check out Candy Canyon. It's out there. Now, here's what I was telling you earlier about, and uh, when I said about the zoo. Living Treasures has various animals out there. Well, this is a non-scary event. And you're invited to walk through in the dark, torch-lit walkways to view the wild and interesting behaviors of many of the animals have at night. Hear the calls of many vocal animals and spot the glowing eyes of the big cats and alligators. Now, I didn't know they had alligators there, but... You know, 
Children who bring a carved pumpkin get 50% off. Yes, um, check it out, weather permitting. It's uh, a great time to see some of those things going on. And, um, you know, we talk about all the time we, we, we mention sports, but uh, here's a great thing. Yes, uh, it doesn't show up well. It's the Newcastle Playhouse. Now, um, if you were wondering about the Playhouse, it's uh, located, <coughs> excuse me, on the south side in Newcastle on Long Avenue. And there's a, you know, Mary's Restaurant open down there. And uh, they, they have a lot of great things. Well, going on at the Playhouse, and uh, we'll get this up for you right there. It is a Hans Christian Andersen famous story. And um, think about this. When was the last time that you thought about Hans Christian Andersen? Kids will like this. It's new. It's the Snow Queen. It is a tale of contrast between warmth and coldness. The good of warmth, Gerda, and the evil Snow Queen, involved in a tug of war over Gerda's friend, Kay. Will warmth or goodness be vic will warmth and goodness be victorious? Well, this is in the Augustine Auditorium. It's in the back. Okay, and um, make sure you check it out. Call them for tickets, 724-654-3437. Now, it's going to be start on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, excuse me, Saturday. Okay, 730 to 930. Sunday, a matinee from 2 to 4. And uh, always uh, great to get the playhouse. Now, um, here's some information on voting. And uh, I, I can't stress this enough. Voter registration deadline is the 7th of October. That's Monday. Now, in order to apply for voter registration, you must be a citizen of the United States at least one month before the election, a resident of Pennsylvania for at least 30 days, and over 18 years of age. Now, you must submit your application by 11.59 p.m. on the 7th of October. Now, with that being said, understand that you must apply for an absentee ballot before the 29th of October. And then there's a three-day window, and there's got to be in, or your vote won't count. And uh, a very, very important and uh, I'm going to uh, kind of reiterate on this, okay, uh, three-day time frame between the deadline to request the absentee ballot, October 29th, the deadline by which county election officials must receive the ballots, 5 p.m. November 1st. Voters are strongly urged to submit the absentee ballots okay, whether online or paper before the deadline, okay? So that way you know what's going on and uh, I want to make sure that um, you, you really understand that. Now, I'd like to thank um, Dawn Services as uh, they stopped I, I, well, they didn't even really stop down. I bumped into them today. 
And I may mentioned this a couple times with November 7th, that's a Thursday, two days after the election. They're having a Western PA hemp fiber educational series and inaugural session. And um, hemp is a marijuana. The girl that was here was very informative and I am looking to get that on NCTV 45. This, um, this hemp fiber can have uh, R factor of up to 20. Unlike fiberglass insulation, it may be handled with no protection. So um, there's some positive things We'll be telling you more about that as we go on. Let's um, take a look at Lawrence County 45 weather. And uh, 84 in Newcastle. Heat index feels like 87. Humidity, 57%. Winds are from the southwest at 7. Barometric pressure, 2993 2.67, visibility 10 miles, and the heat index 87. Now, um, let's, as we give you that double look at radar, and I don't think anybody else does that, you can see showers coming across the lake towards Cleveland. Nothing in our area yet. So when you look at Pittsburgh radar, you still see those showers, but only the ground clutter around our area. Now let's get to Lawrence County 45 weather and see what's in store for you. County 45 weather. Well, after last night's cloudy low and partly cloudy of 67, how's your Wednesday looking? Well, as you get to local radar, now don't let this fool you because what you're seeing as uh, you take a gander is that ground clutter from the dew and we've had some pretty heavy dews and a lot of moisture on the ground when you look at the national scene it's quite a different picture as um, it's clear all the way west of us and uh, that means you're in for some sunshine. Your Wednesday, mostly sunny in 86. Wednesday night, mostly cloudy, 62. Chance of rain goes up to 50%, and that's because of all that humidity. Now on Thursday, mostly cloudy, 84. Chance of rain remains at 50%, and then Thursday, night, mostly cloudy 51 chance of rain drops down to 30 percent now you're okay friday partly sunny and 61 good to get rid of all that heat in my estimation friday night mostly clear 41 take a jacket to homecoming saturday you buy mostly sunny 66 saturday night mostly cloudy 49 sunday television station mostly cloudy 
70. Going Sons sells and service. 79. 70s Washington Street, Newcastle. As lawnmowers of every type. Mostly cloudy. Zero. Turn. Country Clippers. Made in the USA. 49. Now that was. Four inch cut. Batteries by Oracle. They'll service at your home or their shop. Service specials start as low as $69. Call Jim Micko and Sons. 724-652-6911. Penn, Ohio Bottled Water Company. Home residential, commercial, water coolers. You can contact us Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. We're fast, efficient, and we deliver water. We offer 100% customer satisfaction guarantee. Contact us today at 724-498. Your family and friends will be pleased if you suggest dining at Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant in Newcastle. Lamb and chicken dishes, stuffed grape leaves, tabbouleh, hummus, kibbe, and so much more from their huge menu. When you're looking for something different for your dining experience, then Mary's is the answer. Many of their customers come in from nearby counties. Mary's Middle Eastern Restaurant, located on Long Avenue in Newcastle. Call 724-652-2447. Arlington Market, located at 726 Arlington Avenue, has all the great food you remember. Yes, their canned goods are fantastic and feature that old world taste. And meat, cheeses, produce, lunch meats, fresh cut meats, groceries, and so much more. It's Arlington Market. It'll make your table look spectacular. And we're back, and uh, I want to give you this update that came in, and I think it's pretty significant. You know, um, before we get to a wrap-up, a lot of folks are into this DNA <coughs> testing now, generic testing. Well... The Department of Aging warns Pennsylvania seniors that their families and caregivers about the newest scam targeting older adults. DNA testing has become extremely popular and about the family history and health and scammers are now targeting Medicare beneficiaries with fraudulent DNA tests. These scammers offer free generic testing claiming it's covered through Medicare as a means for seniors to avoid disease or to find the right medication. This is simply an effort to gain access to Medicare information, which can lead to financial information and more, because a lot of times that's your social security number. They can do credit checks, steal your identity, get the idea. Unfortunately, the scammers continue to develop ways to target seniors. Do not accept generic testing services, including the swab of a cheek from anyone at a community event, local fair, or farmer's market. Always be cautious about giving out your personal information, including your Medicare number. If you receive a testing kit in the mail and don't accept it unless it was ordered by the physician, and always review your Medicare summary notice explanation of benefits. You know, if you have a question, call 877-808-2468 to get that information. It's, I can't even tell you how important it is as they are going about 
trying to scam a lot of people. Are you into unsolved mysteries? <laughs> How about this? Unsolved mister miseries? How about unsolved mysteries? Yes, the Swamp Torso Murders, Thursday, October 3rd, 7 p.m., Womp Train Station, 303 Main Street. These unsolved murders join Bob Prester as he presents the West Pittsburgh Swamp Torso Murders and uh, by, presented by the Wampum Area Historical Society and uh, they always always have great things going on down in Wampum. So um, let's check out these proud sponsors and we'll be right back with a whole lot more and a wrap up after this. I got a gift from the Newcastle I tried There was no time for living Look around At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com This program brought to you by Cummings Landscaping and Design. Random Cummings Lower Operator. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Well, that's going to do it here at Newswatch Nightly. You know, make sure that you tune in and make sure that you tell a friend we're available anytime on your time and this week we've had a great focus nc nclc living sports and thursday another cook in a castle coming your way i think you'll like this one you know make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about nc tv 45 we're available anytime on your time. He has a train that runs on your schedule. That's NCTV 45 in Newcastle. Thanks for making us your favorite. Now, uh, make sure that as you go through this evening, you get that second cup of coffee. Maybe it's some nice lemonade or iced tea. Maybe a piece of cherry pie or peach pie will do and have a super evening in what I call the greatest castle in the world in the county of Lawrence. Have a great evening everybody and we'll see you again real soon. Got my ticket for the midnight plane and it's not easy.